Hi guys and welcome to my channel and welcome back. Today I'm out at Dreamworld on the Gold Coast. Wasn't expecting to come back here this quickly, but there's been some construction photos out there of the new steel Taipan and what it's going to entail. So, so we'll come and check that out and we'll keep moving around, okay? Let's get in there, guys. Okay, guys, just go inside the park. Heading around this whole ocean paradise area first. See what's going on, what's open, what's shut around here. And then we'll finish it up down and check it out the new steel Taipan updates. I'm not going to head down there this time. Just check out the whole gold coaster, I think it is. We've we'll come down here towards the whole DreamWorks area. But we've got Tail Spin the Steel Down as well as Shockwave. So they've been down for a few weeks now. Okay, but it is good to see we got the cat in the hat chair swing this back up and running, so that's awesome. It's heading around this corner because I can see something under some sort of construction fencing, so I just want to see what that is. Okay, so I found the fencing. It's for the those flyers. I know I'm gonna attempt that. <laughs> and it looks completely pulled down at the moment, so be interesting to find out what's going on with that. But for the moment, that is one of the attractions that's down and probably will be down for a while. But we can see the stores reopened. So let's go inside there and see if we see anything new. And I'm trying to see here at the Madagascar runaway. I, yeah, I can still see a site at the front. So that is still down. That little coaster, which is awesome. Well, it's not awesome, it's down, but it is an awesome little coaster. Okay, let me quickly duck into the store and see what I can see. Ooh, I'm already first off seeing some cool Cat in the Hat merch just in the doorway. Okay, we've also got some cool, like, How to Train Your Dragon merch. Let's get on here. And then, yeah, we have some mugs. So you kind of got that style, or that, like, very Avengers sort of style. Okay, we also have the same sort of shirt in white as well as black. And then there's, oh my god, let's go closer. Better look at the mugs. So you kind of got action pose in the back and then close up on the front. Also, we've got some cool new sort of, what did you say? Oh, Kung Fu Panda for the actual attraction though. So that's good. Finally, we're actually seeing some stuff that's like branded for the park, which is awesome to see. As well as they've got some mugs as well. But let's keep moving around. Okay, kind of finishing the DreamWorks area. I think let's head into Tiger Island and see if they're kind of out and about playing today. It's kind of a cooler day, so here's hoping. Okay, let's see if anyone's out in the rock habitat today. It's an adorable white tiger out there. Look how beautiful. Okay, so we're kind of just coming out here into the main area now. And so far, it seems like they're just kind of chilling. Can't see any trainers out there with them at the moment, so yeah. Let's see if we can get closer. Look, oh, actually, hang on, if we do that, there's an amazing little one up here in the corner. Come on, enhance, enhance, just there. It's beautiful. Almost missed it. And then we'll turn, and we've got one up here on the podium. And there's another one just there near the rock work. Okay, I was almost thinking there was no one in this up close kind of looking area. But I can see one just at the back there. He's having a nap it looks like. Okay, left the Tiger Island obviously now. Just heading into like the whole Wiggles World meets ABC Kids area, I believe. Okay, there's a few people back here at the moment. So let's see what's going on, okay? It actually looks like we've got a show going on here. Like a Wiggles show in like this little ABC Kids fun spot. Okay, gonna have to come back and try to check that show out at some point. But, to turn around, looks like nothing much else is going on. Let's go check out the motocrosses up and running yet. 
okay it definitely looks like the whole motocross coast is up and running so that's cool so that's the back available we're gonna turn back and i'm gonna go into like the native australian animals area and see what's going on back there okay okay just getting into the australian native animals area where well, that is a mouthful to say the train is still down but i honestly think at this point we're gonna expect the train is either gone permanently or is down at least until still taipans up and running and also a few vlogs ago i did point out this bridge over here let's see if we can zoom into it and i was wondering what was it for from what i've been told where wow, that is blurry let me get it unblurred okay that's better yeah that bridge there just there <sighs> um there used to be a show done on it from what i've been told and what i've been able to find so yeah kind of answers that question from a few vlogs ago let's start going into the native animals area wow i have to find a sure way of saying all that okay just coming past the shearing shed and it doesn't seem like you can get over there still but they're definitely playing music which is kind of cool let's just check some gates here let's see if we can actually kind of get across to it Okay, so this big box is blocking us from being able to get over there, but I'm pretty sure this fence is new. So there may actually be plans to like let you walk across there soon. With this whole like you can see entrance in that side and then it's the same come down in here if that box wasn't there. So maybe there's something cool that is coming. We'll keep an eye out for that. Just coming to the area. Oh, we can see like a little baby one. Then I can zoom in closer for you. Just there. Oh, it looks like a cute little family. Okay, let's see if we can see some more. Barely walked a couple more steps and we can see some just chilling under the trees here. Little big one there too. Okay, I can't actually see any kangaroos in this area that are like out and about that can be petted and stuff like that. But I'm just gonna head down here because I can see one or two here. This is in one of those relaxation areas they've got. But there's usually a lot more than what we're seeing at the moment. Okay, I'm not gonna go any closer because he seems agitated. But it's kind of cool. Okay, here are some just chilling underneath this sign. There's four, I thought. Oh, actually, no, there's another baby one over there. Zoom into that little baby sleeping. It's a cute little baby one. Okay, so the water is loud, but we will put out this is a new little area back here. See some for the crocodiles, I think they are hatching, and it looks like this arena. Stage area here. It's kind of been decorated, so I wonder if we're going to start using that again too soon. Kind of cool. As well as it gives you another viewing area here into the whole crocodiles area. So you just can see here, it's unusual to see the wombat's kind of just out of his den. I think just kind of woke up, so a little groggy, but. It's so cool to be able to see them up and about. Okay, so finished up there with the Native Australian Animals area. We're going to start making our way up to our normal viewing platform for uh, the Steel Taipan. But I had a moment, I just wanted to just give a thanks to Happy Scrubs for sending me out this personalised mask with my little hashtag there for my socials on it. Which is now an additional thing they are doing. 
Happy Scrubs is also giving 10% off of all masks if you mention so this week. So, little bonus they've allowed me to use, so can I share with you guys? Okay, so finally got up here and wow, they've definitely made some real work since last time we were out here. I think we can see like, so we zoom in, just between those beams, you may be able to see that white strip on the top of there, which I believe will be our second launch, which can take you from there up and we're to the curve here, which is kind of awesome to see. We've also got another one of the turns, just coming down here, already installed, as well as it where it looks like it's gonna bank into a, like, let's see what doing, I'm trying to think, like a full rotation or more because I do believe this is going to have be triple looping for what we can see on the stuff and we can also see just here near the construction like the crane I should say fencing which looks like it probably be where you're returning back to the launch point or even launching backwards from because this does have a backwards launch before using that speed to launch you forwards but kind of amazing to see and we'll go start heading back towards the front of the park and see if we can see a different view of it. But saying that I did see some stuff in the car park, so I'll enter that in there. Okay, so this is kind of the view we're getting from the ground and that path, like walkway, they've installed. But it seems like we can see a few more of these bollards like here. So it definitely still feels like it's gonna be coming a long way out, unless that's for the queue line. That could actually make sense now I think about it. Still only giving us late this year this opening and I may be wrong about the loops because it does say triple launching coaster. So yeah, I have to rewatch like the whole virtual ride through and see what it's like. But let's keep moving around. Okay, just as we're coming out of that walkway, are we still turn around? Show you know I me. Mean? So walkway there past the steel type pan. We can see a sign here and a little ashtray for this being the new designated smoking area for the park. So, it looks like they have actually moved it out of the train station. We can also see some leveling equipment here, so maybe they are planning on trying to do something with the train station shortly. Okay, I thought I'd come down here towards Buzzsaw, see if it give us a different view, and wow, I don't know why I didn't think this through earlier, but we can get a real nice close up of the track. But let's see if we go back, and see if it shows some sort of like, context of how close to this path is actually going to be coming so there's one of those big bank turns that we we're looking at on the other side and just over there if you can see is the other one so well it's definitely coming along obviously we're in the middle of the year so if it's meant to be by late year they've definitely got to get going but well wow, i'm really excited to check this out when it eventually comes out I think let's start heading towards the main street emporium and see what they got there okay <laughs> okay so i'm just coming to the emporium like this major shop before the park where you can exit making my way up but we see some of the kung fu panda t-shirt merch as well as the cat and hat merch is also available here as well as that little store in the dreamworks area okay guys i just got back to the car thanks for going up to leave it for today hope you guys have enjoyed I did notice when I was walking around, there was these little signs with words on it and it has to do with like this little kids adventure thing. So the back page, uh, there's a whole lot of other stuff, but get this open properly. It's like a little find the words in a credit sentence sort of thing. So I was thinking, I've got that now, so next time we come out here, we may check that out as well. Because I think it'll be a bit of fun to see what all that is, but like I said, that's where I'm leaving it for today. Hope you guys have liked. Please don't like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Get notified next time I upload. Also, bomb the screen like always there on my socials. I'll see you around. Bye, guys. <laughs>